Well, their numbers are dwindling, so there's now a call for placing an ancient fish that can still be found in the Delaware River on the federal endangered species list. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has the story of the Atlantic sturgeon. They're finding fewer and fewer Atlantic sturgeon in the Delaware River. This 75 million year old fish swims as far north as Trenton to spawn, but they were over harvested in the 1800s. The eggs from the fish were used as caviar. Environmentalists have asked the National Marine Fisheries Service to place the Atlantic sturgeon on the federal endangered species list because the populations have plummeted. New Jersey stopped commercial fishing for sturgeon over a decade ago. The endangered designation would offer even more protection. They still get harmed by pollution, by dredging, by the destruction of their river bottom habitats through a variety of man-made activities. If we get endangered species designation for the Atlantic sturgeon of the Delaware River, then they would receive an extra level of protection from this wide variety of harms. If federal officials decide against the designation for all the Atlantic coast sturgeon, environmentalists still believe the fish found in the Delaware River alone should get protection. They say several studies have shown that the Delaware population is genetically different than those found in other East Coast rivers like the Hudson. A recent survey and study of sturgeon by the Delaware Division of Fish and Wildlife found evidence of a separate population saying identification of the unique A5 haplotype or genetic marker in the young of the year is indisputable evidence that Delaware origin stock is contributing to new year classes and that the Delaware is its own distinct population segment. Environmentalists believe federal officials should look at the Delaware River sturgeon as a separate case because some counts show the population here below 100 fish. The precariousness of the Delaware River population gets lost by it being mixed in with the Hudson River population. We need the National Marine Fisheries Service to separate the two and recognize the Delaware River is on the brink of extinction and in need of this high level of protection. The National Marine Fisheries Service is now taking public comment on the request to list the sturgeon as endangered. A ruling is expected by October. Ed Rogers, NJN News.